What if I told you that the guy that developed the Phillips curve that you're learning in your macro class is the same guy that developed the Phillips head screwdriver? That is amazing if it were true, but it's not two different guys. But this graph that you need to know for your class does have some things in common with this. The Phillips curve was developed in the late 1950s and for a while, it was pretty accurate. The real world economy did show a negative relationship between inflation and unemployment. But starting in the 1970s, it lost a little bit of its predictability and didn't really show what's going on with the real world economy. So several economists have come out and said that this should not be in textbooks, that this should not be part of your macroeconomics class. The point is, like this screwdriver, the Phillips curve is a little beat up, it's a little rusty, but it's still an important tool. So yes, there's other tools out there that are way better, but you still need to know how to use this one. If you like these videos, if they're helping you, please like and subscribe.